And there's our view inside uh, the cramped quarters of the uh, Prasal module. As you see, uh, Ali Kononenko, the Soyuz commander in the green shirt. On the right is NASA astronaut Mike Barrett, Tracy Dyson, uh, bidding farewell to Ivan Wagner that you see in the red shirt. As uh, Kononenko and company, there's uh, Nikolai Chub uh, right behind Kononenko. In the blue shirt uh, in the foreground is uh, cosmonaut uh, Alexander Grabenkin, part of the uh, Crew 8 crew that will be returning to Earth on a SpaceX Dragon spacecraft in early October. And there the three departing crew members have now left uh, the International Space Station Prashal module. They are inside Soyuz waving goodbye as they uh, will make final preparations. Once the hatches are closed, uh, the crew will perform a series of uh, initial leak checks at the docking interface between the Soyuz and the Prashal module before they will don uh, their Sokol launch and entry suits. The uh, Spaceflight Meteorology Group here at the Johnson Space Center has issued a forecast for landing, which again in Kazakhstan will be about an hour and 13 minutes before sunset on Monday. The uh, initial forecast uh, calls for scattered clouds at 8,000 feet, 28,000 feet, gusty winds, but temperatures around 73 degrees. So the hatch uh, to the Soyuz now closed at 12.02 a.m. and now the hatch uh, to the Prashal module being closed. So we have hatch closure at 12.02 a.m. Central Time, 1.02 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday morning. With the uh, closing of the hatches, uh, leak checks uh, will get underway a short time from now. The crew will then uh, don their Sokol launch and entry suits and begin a series of communications checks uh, with the Russian flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov on the outskirts of Moscow.